We're at the African Exchange 2018 where we're talking about various issues that impact the insurance environment and the insurance industry. I'm here with Peter Jennett from Centrique and we're going to talk about cell captives. Peter, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Please tell us about cell captives and the, um, the advantages or the benefits that they offer the insurance industry. Okay. Um, a cell captive is a relatively simple thing. It's effectively just a preference share in an insurer. Um, in South Africa, it's a cell captive insurer that you take a preference share in, and that just allows you to put up some capital to back the business that you're writing into that cell captive. The advantage is you're putting in your own capital, and from an insurer's perspective, uh, he knows you've got something, something to lose, um, and you're willing to take the risks and rewards of putting up that capital against the insurance business. So let's just talk about cell captives then and how they can improve the insurance industry's um, economics and going forward and the economic growth of the, of the country. Okay, so uh, and I'm quite passionate about the subject. I mean, just to give you an example, Centric has about 30 to 40 insurance partners. These are partners that operate off our license utilizing a cell captive. Um, within those partners, they employ a lot of people um, and they support a lot of businesses um, around those partners. So for me, it's vitally important that we have this, this uh, methodology to bring uh, small insurance businesses into the market um, backed by an insurer like a Centrique. Uh, Centrique ensures that customers are being treated fairly, um, they're, they're solid products and, and the entire system is financially sound. Um, I think you know, without this mechanism, um, you're really going to be left with the big insurers and the big insurers' um, desire to go and support small businesses is maybe not there. Not to the same extent that a cell captive that actually exists off, the, the small, off small insurance businesses. Now, then this basically, maybe we can then finish off with this. You know, the cell captives are close to communities. They are at the coalface of people who come in who can't afford to go to a big insurer, but they want life insurance, they want funeral yeah. cover. Do you, um, what role or what is the actually symbiotic relationship that the cell captives have with communities okay. and how important is this? Okay, so, so, so again, just from a terminology, I wouldn't say it's the cell captives, but it's the, the small insurance businesses. Mm -hmm. Remember, the small insurance businesses, what they do is they just utilize the cell captive to okay. deliver the product. But the small insurance businesses are on the ground. They're small businesses. They, they, they've gone into markets where maybe the big players haven't seen the value. So they're actually on the ground. They understand what communities need. They understand uh, what, what insurance products need to be delivered. So they're actually there. And I think, you know, when you're sitting in a big insurer, and, and you look at the opportunity to have a 70 million rand book of business and maybe change your model a bit, there's no incentive. Yeah. You don't actually want to do that. But a, a, small, a small insurance business with 70 million rands worth of business is actually incentivized to deliver to his, his target market. Thank you very much.